one of the first things that prior written notice is supposed to document are the actions that have been proposed and the actions that have been refused. So meaning, in writing, prior to the action being proposed or refused, it is what has been decided and agreed upon, mm -hmm. or consequently, what has been disagreed upon. Right, and those actions can be not to evaluate a child or to evaluate a child, not to provide a service or to provide a service, not to identify a child as being eligible for special education services, or deciding to, de to determine that a child is eligible for services. Those are the general things that this covers, and what we want in prior written notice is a description of the action that was proposed and any action that was refused, because then we have a record of it, and then the parent is aware we have either agreed to this or we have not agreed to it and that's your warning that you're now supposed to exercise any rights that are available to you to appeal or disagree with those formally. And typically it is either the school district who is proposing something and perhaps the parents are disagreeing or it is the parents who have requested mm -hmm. something and it is the district who's disagreeing. So it doesn't have to be the team that's proposing something. It might be the parents proposing something or a, a particular school teacher and the whole team has agreed to do it and at, at least as a matter of federal law it looks that way and the reason I say that Julie mm -hmm. is that some states provide guidance to their school districts most states provide guidance to their school districts about how to fill out some of these forms and some states take the position that the actions proposed should only be the actions proposed by the school team and only refused by the, the school team against the parents so that's how some states interpret it it's not entirely clear as a matter well, of none federal of this law is. No, none of it is. <laughs> so I would just say, when you get the paperwork home, you want to make sure that whatever happened at the meeting that was either agreed to or not agreed to is reflected on prior written notice. That's the best way to put it.